Hi! In this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to make this bracelet right here. This bracelet is my own original design, and it is very similar to another bracelet called the Scrunchie Bracelet, but this bracelet here is called the Wooly Bear Caterpillar Bracelet. You can see it's really fuzzy and awesome. So I'm going to go ahead and tell you what you're going to need. To make this bracelet, you're going to need your loom. Any loom will work. And I'm going to be using my rainbow loom. You are also going to need a hook. And any hook will work as long as it is for rubber band making or it's a crochet hook or something you can loom rubber bands with. And you will also need a clip. Any clip will work as well, as long as it is for rubber band bracelets. I'm going to be using an S-clip. Alright, now, as you can see here, you're also going to need rubber bands, of course. And, as you can see, I have two different groups of rubber bands, and I'm going to explain what each group is. So, this A group, or these A rubber bands, are going to be the rubber bands that are here on the bottom, and you won't really see them, but they're going to make the actual bracelet on the bottom of, well, the bracelet. And that's what those A rubber bands are. Then these B rubber bands are the rubber bands that are on top and make the frilly craziness that this wooly bear caterpillar bracelet is made of. So anyway, the number of each group of rubber bands you're going to need is going to appear on the screen now. Alright, and now that you know what you're going to need, get your supplies and use the pause button so that you can do so. And I will see you once you have everything. Alright, now... Making this bracelet will be very, very easy, especially if you already know how to make a triple single, because that is what is on the bottom here. And what we're going to be placing first, though, is we're going to be placing the frills and all this crazy stuff on top. So we're going to be placing this all first. And to do that, you're going to need to get all of your B color rubber bands you should have out and there should be 90 of these and also you're going to need to make sure that the arrow on your loom is pointing away from you well anyway to begin we're going to get three B color rubber bands and we're going to start by placing rubber bands on this left pin bar so anyway, we're going to get three B color rubber bands, and we're going to place them on this third left pin. Now we're going to do the same thing. We're going to get three B color rubber bands, and we're going to place them now on this fourth left pin. Then we're going to do the same thing. We're going to get three B color rubber bands, but this time we're going to place them on this fifth left pin. And that's all we're going to be doing, is we're going to be grabbing three B color rubber bands and placing them on the next left pin on your loom, going all the way down your loom until you get to this twelfth left pin. So, stop placing B color rubber bands here. Now I'm just going to go ahead and continue. I'm going to be fast forwarding. So just use the pause button if you need to. Alright, so as you can see here, I have finished or stopped placing three B color rubber bands on each left pin 
sweets pin on this left pin bar. And I stopped here on this 12th left pin. So once you have placed those last three B color rubber bands on this left pin bar, you are now going to do the same thing as you did here on the left, now on this middle pin bar and this right pin bar. And to do that, you're going to need to return to the beginning of your loom, and the arrow on your loom should be pointing away from you. And we're going to do the exact same thing on this middle pin bar and this right pin bar, or row pins. So anyway, to continue, you get three B color rubber bands, and I forgot to mention, we're going to be placing them on this middle row first. We're going to get three B color rubber bands, and we're going to place them on this third middle pin. Then, we're going to get three more B color rubber bands, and we're going to place them on this fourth middle pin next. And we're just going to do the same thing as we did here on the left. So I'm just going to continue placing B color rubber bands. Just use the pause button if you need to. Okay, so as you can see here, I have finished placing B color rubber bands, and three of them to be exact, on each pin on this middle pin bar, and I stopped placing B color rubber bands on this 12th middle pin, just like I stopped placing rubber bands on this 12th left pin. So once you have placed those last three B color rubber bands on the 12th middle pin, you're going to now do the same thing you did here on the left and in, in the middle on this right pin bar. And to do that, you're going to return to the beginning of your loom. Arrow still needs to be pointing away from you. And we're going to just do the same thing we did here on the left and in the middle on the right. So you're going to get three B color rubber bands and you're going to just set them on this third right pin. Then we're going to get three more B color rubber bands and we're going to place them now on this fourth right pin. And you're just going to continue this going down this right pin bar on your loom. So I'm just going to go ahead and continue placing rubber bands, just use the pause button if you need to. Alright, so as you can see here, I have finished placing B color rubber bands on my loom. And once you finish, you should have three... B color rubber bands on every pin on your loom except for the first pins, the second pins, and the thirteenth pins. So once you've finished placing B color rubber bands, your loom should look something like this. Alright, now that we have finished placing the little or all the crazy frills and all that for our woolly bear caterpillar bracelet we are now going to place the triple single on the bottom of the bracelet and to do this we're going to need 38 A color rubber bands and you might also want to get your hook out but this is optional so I'm just going to have mine sitting off to the side but anyway, to place these A color rubber bands, you're going to need to make sure that the arrow on your loom is pointing away from you. And we're going to start by placing rubber bands on this left row of pins. So to begin, 
we're going to get an A collar rubber band and we're going to place it going from this first middle pin to this first left pin. Then we're going to get another A collar rubber band and we're going to place it going from this first left pin to this second left pin. Then here, once you're here on the second left pin, you're going to get another A collar rubber band and you're going to place it going from this second left pin to this third left pin. And now here is where the little twist to making a just a regular triple single is. What you're going to do here once you place this rubber band that goes from this second left pin to this third left pin is you're going to transfer these B color rubber bands that are just sitting on this third left pin and just kind of pull them off of that pin and onto this A color rubber band above them. And you can use your fingers or you can use your hook, but I think it's a little easier to do with your fingers. But you can still use your hook. I'll just have mine sitting off to the side. And that's the twist for this. So you just bring these B color rubber bands onto the A color rubber band above it. So I'll go ahead and show you three more times and then I'm going to leave you to continue doing what I just showed you all the way down this left pin bar. So anyway, once you're here on this third left pin, you're going to get another A color rubber band and you're going to place it going from this third left pin to this fourth left pin. And now what you're going to do is you're going to transfer these B color rubber bands on this fourth left pin onto this A color rubber band above them by just pulling them off of the pin in a way and onto this A color rubber band. Now I'm going to show you again. You're going to get another A color rubber band and you're going to place it now going from this fourth left pin to this fifth left pin. And now once you've placed this A color rubber band, you're going to transfer these three B color rubber bands on this fifth left pin onto this A color rubber band above it. Now I'm going to show you how to do this one more time. You're going to get an A color rubber band and you're going to place it going now from this fifth left pin to the sixth left pin. And once you're here on the sixth left pin, you're going to transfer these B color rubber bands onto this A color rubber band above it. And the B color rubber bands should have been on the sixth left pin. So now that you know basically what you're supposed to do, you're going to continue this little pattern of placing an A color rubber band on the next two left pins and transferring the B color rubber bands onto the A color rubber band, going all the way down this left row of pins on your loom until you get to this 12th left pin. So I'm just going to go ahead and continue. I'm going to be fast forwarding. Just use the pause button if you need to. Alright, so as you can see here, I have finished placing A color rubber bands going down this left row of pins on my loom and transferring all the B color rubber bands on all of the pins and I stopped placing A color rubber bands on this 12th left pin and you should have as well and what you're going to do now is you're going to get an A color rubber band so you're going to get another one and you're going to place it going inwards from this 12th left pin to this 13th middle pin now you are done placing rubber bands on this left pin bar on your loom and now we're going to do the same thing for this middle pin bar and this right pin bar. To 
Place the A Kylie rubber bands on the middle pin bar and the right pin bar. You're going to do the same thing as you did here on the left. You're going to return to the beginning of your loom and the arrow should still be pointing away from you. And what you're going to do is you're going to get an A color rubber band and you're going to place it going from this first middle pin to this second middle pin. Then you'll get another A color rubber band and you'll place it going from this second middle pin to this third middle pin. And once you do that, there are now these rubber bands here, these B color rubber bands that you can transfer from this third middle pin onto this A color rubber band above them. Now it may be a little difficult to grab the rubber bands with your fingers. So what you can do is you can use your hook here instead. And it's still a little difficult to use your hook though. So you're still going to transfer these B color rubber bands onto this A rubber band. Then you're going to do the same thing again. You're going to get another A color rubber band and you're going to place it going from this third middle pin to this fourth middle pin. And then you're going to transfer all of these B color rubber bands on this fourth middle pin onto this A color rubber band above them. Oh, and make sure that does not happen. And you're going to do the same thing again. You're going to get an A color rubber band and you're going to place it going now from this fourth middle pin to this fifth middle pin. Then you can get your hook or use your fingers, whatever is easiest. And you're just going to transfer these three B color rubber bands on this fifth middle pin onto this A color rubber band above them. And that's all you're going to do. You're just going to continue placing A color rubber bands going down this middle pin bar on your loom and transferring the B color rubber bands below them until you get to this 12th middle pin. So I'm just going to go ahead and continue. I'm going to be fast forwarding. Use the pause button if you need to. Alright, now as you can see here, I have finished placing A color rubber bands on this middle pin bar on my loom. Almost. I just need to place one more A color rubber band going from this 12th middle pin to this 13th middle pin. And there should not be any B color rubber bands that I need to transfer. So, anyway. Now, once you have finished pl placing A color rubber bands going down this middle pin bar on your loom and transferring all the B color rubber bands, you are now going to do the same thing you did here on this middle pin bar and this left pin bar on the right. And to do this, you're going to need to make sure that the arrow on your loom is pointing away from you. And we're going to come back to the beginning of our loom. So to continue, and to start on this right pin bar, you can still use your hook. I'm going to go ahead and put it off to the side. You're going to get an A color rubber band, and you're going to place it going from this first middle pin to this first right pin. Then you're going to get another A color rubber band, and you're going to place it going from this first right pin to this second right pin. Then you're going to do something similar again. You're going to get another A color rubber band and you're going to place it going from the second right pin to this third right pin. Now as you can see here there are B color rubber bands on this third right pin so you're going to need to transfer them with either your hook or your fingers and to transfer them you just grab them and pull them off of the pin 
they are on, so this third right pin, and onto this A color rubber band above them. Now you're going to do the same thing again. You're going to get an A color rubber band, and you're going to place them going from this third right pin to this fourth right pin. And now you're going to transfer the B color rubber bands on this fourth right pin. So you're going to grab them, pull them off of the pin they are on, and onto this A color rubber band above. And that's all you're going to do. The same thing you've been doing for pretty much the entire bracelet you're going to do on this right pin bar. You're going to place an A color rubber band, and then you're going to transfer the B rubber bands below. So I'm just going to go ahead and continue this. I'm going to fast forward. So still, if you need to use the pause button, use it. And you need to stop placing A color rubber bands once you get to this 12th right pin. Alright, so now as you can see here, I have finished placing A color rubber bands going down this right row of pins on my loom, or this right pin bar, and transferring all the B color rubber bands on all of the pins on this right pin bar as well. And I have stopped placing A color rubber bands when I got to this 12th right pin. Now, you should have one more A color rubber band left, and some more, but you should have one A color rubber band left, and what you're going to do with it is you're going to place it going inwards from this 12th right pin to this 13th middle pin. Now you are done placing the A color rubber bands that go down each pin bar. Now it is time to place the A color rubber bands that will hold all three rows of rubber bands together. So to place these rubber bands that hold all three rows together, you're going to need to get 10 A color rubber bands. You're also going to need to make sure that the arrow on your loom is pointing away from you. Still, it has not changed direction. And you will not need your hook, so you can put that off to the side for now, because we won't need it until it is time to loom. Now anyway, to place these next A color rubber bands, we're going to start placing them on these second pins. And I say second pins because we're going to be placing them in a triangular shape on our loom. So what I'm trying to say is you're going to get an A color rubber band and you're going to place it going from this second left pin to the second middle pin and from the second middle pin outwards to the second right pin. That creates a triangle shape. Then, you're going to get another A color rubber band, and you're going to do the same thing, only now on these third pins, you're going to get an A color rubber band, and place it going from this third left pin to this third middle pin, and from this third middle pin outwards to this third right pin, creating a second triangle shape. And these triangle shapes sh should be upside down. Now, this is what you're going to basically do, or well, this is what you're going to do, going all the way down your loom until you run out of these A color rubber bands. You should still have one A color rubber band left, but you will not need it. You're just going to place the remaining eight A color rubber bands in upside down triangle formations on your loom. So I'm just going to go ahead and continue. I'm going to fast forward, but still, Use the pause button if you need to.
Alright, so as you can see here, I have finished placing these triangle shapes on my loom. And now I have 10 of them on my loom. So make sure you count and you have 10. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So make sure you have 10. And once you have placed all 10 of these triangle shapes on your loom, it is now time to get our hooks and the second to last hay color rubber band we should have. And now it is time to begin looming this bracelet. So to loom this bracelet, you're going to need to turn your loom around so that the arrow on your loom is now pointing towards you. I do apologize if you weren't able to see the arrow on my loom. You're also going to need your hook and the second to last A color rubber band you should have left. So you should have one more A color rubber band after you use this one. Now we're going to place this A color rubber band next and we're going to be making it a cap band and to do that you're going to take this A color rubber band twist it into an 8 or infinity shape like this and fold it like a book back on top of itself so now it looks like you have two rubber bands instead of one but remember it is only one rubber band and once you have this cap band, you're going to place it on this first middle pin. Now we can get our hook and begin looming. And looming this bracelet is going to be very, very easy because looming this bracelet is the exact same as looming a triple single, only now there's these little frills sitting here on these rubber bands. So anyway, to begin looming your bracelet, you're going to start here on this first middle pin where you just placed your cap band, and you're going to pull back the cap band and grab the top rubber band underneath of the cap band, and also make sure that you hold the cap band down with your finger so you do not pull it off of this first middle pin, and you're going to loom this rubber band, this one A color rubber band, outwards to this second left pin. That is where this rubber band should be coming from. Now, once you're here on the second left pin, you're going to pull back the top rubber band, grab this bottom rubber band, and loom it forwards to this third left pin. Then here on this third left pin, you're going to pull back this top rubber band, and also all of the frill rubber bands make sure you do not grab these and you're going to grab the bottom rubber band on this third left pin and you're going to loom it forwards to this fourth left pin now you're going to do the same thing here on this fourth left pin you're going to pull back the top rubber band and the frill rubber bands grab the bottom rubber band and loom it forwards to the fifth left pin now I'm going to turn my loom. You do not need to do this. I'm going to turn my loom so that the arrow is pointing to the right. Just so you know. So I'm over here. Hello. <laughs> but anyway, once you're here on this fifth left pin, you're going to pull back the top rubber band and these frill rubber bands as well. And you're going to grab the bottom rubber band and you're going to loom it forwards to the sixth left pin. And that's all you're going to do. You're going to pull back the top rubber band and the frill rubber bands, grab the bottom rubber band, and loom it forwards to the next pin, going all the way down this left pin bar on your loom. So I'm just going to go ahead and continue looming the left row of rubber bands. You should as well. And I'm going to fast forward, use the pause button if you need to.
Okay, so as you can see here, I have finished looming this left row of rubber bands on my loom. And now, I just have this rubber band here that goes inwards from this 13th left pin to this 13th middle pin. So let me try to turn my loom so you can see that better. And what you're going to do with this rubber band here is you're just going to go into this 13th left pin and you're going to grab the bottom rubber band and loom it inwards to this 13th middle pin. So once you have loomed that rubber band, you have now finished looming all of the rubber bands that you need to on this left pin bar. Now it is time to loom the rubber bands on this middle pin bar. And to do that, what you're going to do is you're going to return to this first middle pin and your first middle pin should have the cap band on it and you're going to pull back the cap band grab the top rubber band underneath of the cap band hold the cap band down so it does not come off of this first middle pin and you're going to loom this rubber band that you have on your hook forwards to this second middle pin and that is where this rubber band should be coming from So now here on this second middle pin, you're going to just grab the bottom rubber band because there aren't any rubber bands to pull back and you're going to loom this rubber band forwards to this third left pin. Then here on this third left pin, you're going to pull back the frill rubber bands. So there is kind of something you need to pull back, but you really don't need to pull anything. And you're just going to grab the bottom rubber band on this third middle pin and loom it forwards to this fourth middle pin. Then here on this fourth middle pin, you're just going to kind of push back these frill rubber bands, grab the bottom rubber band on this pin, and loom it forwards to this fifth middle pin. Oops. And that's all you're going to do. You're just going to kind of push back the frill rubber bands, grab the bottom rubber band, and loom it forwards to the next middle pin, going all the way down your middle pin bar on your loom. So I'm going to go ahead and just continue looming and I'm also going to turn my loom so that the arrow is pointing to the right. You do not need to do this. And I'm going to fast forward. Use the pause button if you need to. Alright, and now as you can see here, I have finished looming the rubber bands on this middle row of pins, and you should have as well. And I have stopped looming rubber bands when I got to this 13th middle pin because there aren't any other pins after it. So once you have loomed this middle row of rubber bands, it is now time to loom this right row of rubber bands. To loom this right row of rubber bands, what you're going to do is you're going to get your hook again and you're going to return to this first middle pin and this first middle pin should have a cap band on it. And what you're going to do is you're going to get your hook, stick it in this first middle pin and pull back the cap band. Then you're going to grab this bottom rubber band because there should only be one rubber band underneath of the cap band. And you're going to loom it outwards to this second right pin. And that is where this rubber band should be coming from. Then here on the second right pin you're going to pull back the top rubber bands, grab this very bottom rubber band and loom it forwards to the third right pin. Then here on this third right pin, you're going to pull back the top rubber band and the frill rubber bands a little bit 
You're just going to push those back. And you're going to grab the bottom rubber band and you're going to loom it forwards to this fourth right pin. Then here on this fourth right pin you're going to pull back the top rubber band and the frill rubber bands, kind of. don't really need to pull them back, but you just need to push them back. And grab the bottom rubber band and loom it forwards to this fifth right pin. And that's all you're going to do. The same as you did here on the left, you're going to do on the right. You're going to pull back the top rubber band and push back the frill rubber bands. Grab the bottom rubber band and loom it forwards to the next pin. All the way down this right row of pins until you get to this third eighth right pin. And I also have my loom turned so that the arrow is pointing to the left. You do not need to turn your loom. But anyway, so I'm just going to go ahead and continue looming these rubber bands, and you should as well. And I'm going to fast forward, if you need to, just use the pause button. Alright, so as you can see here, I have finished looming the rubber bands on this right row of pins. And now all I need to loom is this rubber band here that goes inwards from this 13th right pin to this 13th middle pin. And to loom this rubber band here, you're just going to get your hook and stick it into this 13th right pin grab the bottom rubber band and loom it inwards to this 13th middle pin. And that's all there is to it. So now, once you have loomed that rubber band there, you are done looming rubber bands on your bracelet. So that means your loom should look something like this now. Now, once your loom looks something like what I just showed you, you now need to get your hook again. And the last A color rubber band you should have left, because now it is time to take this bracelet off of our loom. So, to take this bracelet off of our loom, instead of coming all the way down here to this last middle pin, we're instead going to start on this first middle pin and make sure that the arrow on your loom is pointing towards you just like it was when you were looming now what you're going to do is you're going to get your hook and to take this bracelet off of your loom you're just going to get your hook start on this first middle pin and pull all of the rubber bands off of each pin, one pin at a time, going down your loom. And this is very easy because, well, there's just a few rubber bands on each pin, and it also pre prevents rubber bands from breaking and snapping and all those horrible things that can happen when you take your bracelet off the other way. So that's all you're going to do. Just use your hook and pull all the rubber bands off of your loom, one pin at a time, going all the way down your loom until you get to this 13th middle pin. Do not take the rubber bands off of this 13th middle pin. You will need them so that you can start your extension. So I'm going to go ahead and just continue pulling these rubber bands off of my loom. And you should as well. And I'm going to fast forward. Still, use the pause button if you need to. Alright, almost done. Bam.
So, as you can see here, I have finished taking rubber bands off of my loom, except for these rubber bands here on this 13th middle pin. And you should have done the same thing as I have. And what you're going to do once you do that is you're going to get your hook, again, still have your hook in your hand, and also the last A color rubber band you should have left. And what you're going to do is you're going to stick your hook into this 13th middle pin far enough down so that when you stick your hook out to the side it catches all of the rubber bands on this 13th middle pin and you're just going to slide this A color rubber band into your hook's mouth and you're going to just slide your hook up through this 13th middle pin and you're going to put the other end of this rubber band that you're holding with your fingers onto your hook as well. Once you have this, you're going to just pull these rubber bands off of the 13th middle pin and now you should have this. So once you have this, it is now time to make your extension for your bracelet. Alright, so to make your extension, you're going to need some rubber bands, does not matter what color they are, your bracelet still on your hook, and two pins on your loom. You can choose what two pins they are, it does not matter, as long as they are next to each other. So like these two pins here that I have chosen. Or wait, hold on. So like these two pins that I have chosen. Much better. I loom with my left, so that's why I turned my loom around. But anyway, to begin making your extension, you're going to get your hook with your bracelet still attached to it. And you're going to transfer this rubber band on your hook onto these two pins that you have chosen on your loom. And to do that, what you're going to do is you're going to grab one end of this rubber band. The other end needs to stay on your hook. And you're going to put this end of the rubber band on one of these two pins you've chosen on your loom. Then you're going to put the other end of this rubber band that's still on your hook and transfer it onto the other pin. So something like that. And once you have this rubber band on these two pins, it is now time to make your extension. And the cool thing about making your extension this way is that you can make an extension of any bracelet you want as long as the bracelet only requires two pins. So what I'm saying is you could make a fishtail extension if you wanted to. But I'm going to be making a simple single chain extension and to do that you're going to get an A color, you're going to get a extension rubber band, and you're going to stretch it across these same two pins as this rubber band that you just transferred from your hook. Then you're going to get your hook and you're going to grab the bottom rubber band and pull it over the pins it is on, on both pins, and onto this rubber band that you just placed above it. So anyway, I'm going to show you how to make a single chain extension again. You're just going to get another A color, you're just going to get another extension rubber band, and you're going to stretch it across the same two pins as this rubber band placed before it, and you're going to get your hook and loom the bottom rubber band by pulling it over the pins it is on and onto this rubber band above it on both pins like this. Alright, so as you can see my extension is literally already forming and yours should be as well. And I'm going to go ahead and show you how to continue this pattern 
two more times. There you go, both my fingers. <laughs> and then I'm going to leave you to continue making your extension on your own. So anyway, to make the single chain extension with these two pins, you're going to get a extension rubber band and you're going to stretch it across these same two pins as this rubber band placed before it and you're going to grab the bottom rubber band on both pins it is on and over the those pins and onto this A and onto this extension rubber band above it now I'm going to show you one more time you're going to get an extension rubber band stretch it across these same two pins as the rubber band placed before it and you're going to loom this bottom rubber band on both pins it is on so get your hook and pull it over the pins it is on and onto this rubber band above it and now that I've shown you probably more than plenty times how to make this extension I am now going to go ahead and just cut the video here and I'm just going to go ahead and continue making my extension I'm not going to be fast forwarding and you're just going to continue making your extension until it is long enough so that your bracelet will fit around your wrist alright so as you can see here I have finished making my extension and now it is long enough so that my bracelet will fit around my wrist and once you have finished making your extension as well it is now time to get your clip and attach it to both ends of your bracelet so I'm going to go ahead and show you how to do that so what that means is basically you have your clip nearby and what you're going to do is you're going to get your hook one last time and you're going to grab one end of this last extension rubber band so on one of the pins grab the rubber band then you're going to pull it off of the pin like this and you're going to bring it over so this rubber band here over to the other pin like that and now you can finally put your hook away and what you're going to do now is you're going to grab this extension here or the single chain and you're going to pull it back to another pin on your loom and now this rubber band should be stretched out across these two pins now once you have this on your loom you're going to get your clip and you're going to slide it onto this stretched out rubber band here so like this once you have your clip on this rubber band you can pull the rubber band off of the pins and now this rubber band here should be attached to your clip or your clip should be attached to this end of your bracelet now we need to attach the clip onto the cap band on the other end of your bracelet and to do that you're going to find the other end of your bracelet and your cap band should be there and what you're going to do to get your clip onto your cap band is you're going to stretch it out your cap band of course <laughs> going across any two pins on your loom and be careful because you would not want this cap band to break and what you're going to do is you're going to get your clip and attach it now to this stretched out cap band So like this. And once you have this on your clip, you can pull this rubber band off of the pins, or in other words, your cap band, and now your clip should be attached to both ends of your bracelet. And once this is true for you, you can go ahead and put your bracelet on, and bam. So as you can see here, I have this woolly bear caterpillar crawling on my arm. Uh, no, I'm kidding. Of course, duh. It's obviously fake. But 
Now I have my Wooly Bear Caterpillar bracelet on my wrist and hopefully you are wearing yours as well and hopefully you have yours and yes so thank you for watching my tutorial hopefully it taught you how to make this woolly caterpillar bracelet or woolly bear caterpillar bracelet successfully and hopefully you are enjoying your woolly bear caterpillar bracelet um, yeah, so that's pretty much all I have to say. Thanks for watching, and...